Well, hi everybody. It's a live video from uh, Jasmine Heimer in the kitchen. Um, I said I was going to give you a bit of a view of what's going on um, and a, a more of a view around um, what we've uh, what we've got when we uh, purchased the Heimer T678CL uh, Golden Limited Edition, known as the Jasmine Meyer, the Heimer Flyer. Anyway, um, I'm here, stood in the kitchen, um, and I just wanted to show you. This is all live. Um, yep, yeah, Alex, uh, very well, thanks. Um, and uh yeah hi uh danny owen so um i just want to give you a look around i'm just gonna see if i can oh yeah switch the camera around let me get this so um i'm standing sort of in the in the doorway now and you can see what we have in terms of a beautiful uh kitchen it's um it's very white and uh, Wendy's got a sort of iPhone thing plugged in here but you can see we've got um, some various bits and pieces in there uh, keep sort of teas and coffees in the top drawer here there's a PowerPoint there and a light switch and you might notice yep that's the light switch for the overhead thing there. This is a window to the outside. Uh, there's a sort of Remus uh, blind there for the uh, fly screen blind. That's the privacy blind. Um, but on to the cupboards, really. So what we've got here, uh, we've got the... the top cupboard and you see this is all nicely rounded around here and in the bottom cupboard there we keep uh, a few sort of bottles and jars uh, very nice these are all lockable by this thing there so they stay nicely closed if we're traveling um, this one has a sort of nice sort of cutlery drawer we've got a bit of a mismatch of cutlery and stuff in there at the moment and there's some underneath there there's some sh sort of shuttle valves uh various bits and pieces <clears throat> if we're winterizing um that oh, you might notice that that is a soft clothes uh, <laughs> every kitchen should have soft clothes and um in this uh one is sort of a half uh, thing because right at the back there I don't think you'd be able to see in the back there let me get a if I can grab a torch um, might be able to show you what's in the back of this cupboard um, there you go so sort of wiring and cabling and um, some other bits and pieces and I think I think that black area there might well be the um, electrical bit from the outside. So the electrical cupboard from the outside. Um, <clears throat> we have a, just move things around. It's a, it's a fairly small-ish kitchen, but that's exactly what we wanted. We've got a nice... Uh, the cutting board that's removable above the sink. Um, oh, that's that's got a it's sort of a bit of a worktop, and turn it over, it becomes that, that sort of chopping board stuff, which we've not really used yet because we have a couple of wooden chopping boards that we use. Um, nice sort of uh, swivelable tap uh, that runs. It, it actually runs really well i was really surprised with the lack of power from the caravan water supply i'm really surprised that that runs really nicely um so 
very very happy with that uh we've got a couple of up here there's a couple of um sort of power points we've had those um twisted because they were when we first picked it up they were on top of each other up up that way so that the plugs would go sort of up uh where are we the plugs would go up that way but then when you got that in you couldn't fit another one above it or below it because so we've had them swiveled round that way so that they can be used um you know imagine i was trying to plug that in to there it wouldn't sort of go because that would get in the way but now i'll plug that into there you'll see they're sort of round sideways um there's a sort of section up the top there with a mirror in it's a bit weird this I'm, i don't know whether this is sort of really gimmicky but this this whole thing pulls down like so and has um hello has a mirror in it uh <laughs> there now um so i can't really that's me holding the ipad hello uh, <laughs> so um and it just sort of goes back up uh, it does lock into position not quite sure what that's about really it's a little bit of a gimmicky thing but um it's okay um the cupboards above uh we've got one big cupboard there above the above the main sort of cooking area where i keep uh my secret stash of pot noodles up there is the drop down section for a coffee machine well alex yes i think it is alex verifies asked is that i think it is um they sort of sold it that way and i bought this <laughs> tassimo in costco uh and it only <laughs> it sort of fits sideways so it has to go sideways in there but there you go um anyway uh moving swiftly on to what else we have in the kitchen um there's this nice uh sort of cooker which is the there's a two burner hob there and surprise surprise another one just there so they've never been used yet um, you'll notice all the signs are in best german Achtung. do not use it when it's closed i think that says um there's a sort of splash guard here um i'm coming round i'm just going to come round um away from the sort of kitchen area and directly opposite the kitchen area here is the huge fridge and oven now there's an oven uh you'll see it sort of it's a shiny 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 um front to it but there is the oven it's a sort of oven grill uh if you want to use the oven um you can sort of uh close the door but if you want to use the grill you have to have it pretty much like that uh yeah pretty much like that so uh, yeah um yeah cables coming out the bottom of plugs does does make them unusable um there's a mirror just right there which gives a lot of light and a nice sort of dressing mirror so it gives you a full full sort of view of yourself um there's a good size freezer look at that um three large ice cube trays and um three large ice cube trays and uh some frozen meats and stuff that i bought from t well i bought them fresh from costco and put them in freezer bags um this nice sort of press button and this then there's this huge fridge that we have sort of almost nothing in at the moment we've got an apple um, <laughs> so 
We have an apple. Uh, <laughs> well, we've got two apples, a bottle of whiskey. I don't know why the whiskey's in the fridge. A watermelon uh, with some fresh chicken. Uh, ketchup. Uh, a pasta salad. Some beer, cheese. And some sort of pickles and milk. Oh, obligatory bottle of vodka in the fridge. Um, the vodka should go. Oh, the butter in there as well. Um, so you see, quite a big fridge. Um, and it's, you know, uh, oh, above, above there, whoop, right up there, there's another cupboard. Uh, I've no idea what's in there. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, coffee for the coffee machine, um, a mixer and so on. And bits of, it's just bits and pieces. Um, oh, there's two sort of coat hooks up there as well. Uh, which is quite nice. Um, there's a light. There's a light up there. A couple of lights underneath the the work. The sort of above the cooker there. And then we sort of come back round to see the sort of lounge and bed area there. It's it really is. Um, we are massively happy with the layout of uh, Jasmine Maya. Um, there are there are some issues that you know with every we were told um, you know if you buy a new van you better be ready um, for a snagging list and yeah we've got a snagging list. Um, there's one well, there's there's a few bits and pieces. I mean, one of the things uh, that's really annoying is that the TV that we've had fitted in the lounge it hasn't been working. It's been you know, we've been switching it on and off, and and it's not been sort of working over the last day. Um, I've resorted to sort of switching all the power off and unplugging it and doing all sorts. Anyway, it's now started to work, so I don't know what. I thought it was the rain that we'd had over the last few days that was affecting it, and that really worried me. Um, I stuck my head out of the roof light earlier today um, to make sure that there wasn't any sort of damage to the roof and the cabling going in. And it, oh, it doesn't seem to be, but, you know, I'm just not sure. Um, I, I certainly hope that's not the case um but they're gonna you know i'm sending them a snagging list back it it's actually a massive snagging list little bits and pieces some of the stuff has been rectified already um but a lot of it hasn't the um one of the well the the biggest issue for me is i think they fitted the uh, we've got a, a sort of wind-out awning um, that could be sort of turned into a safari room. And I think it's just, they fitted it in the wrong place. Um, you know, and I'm, I've even, I, you know, they, fit, they fitted it in the wrong place. I've gone as far as to take legal advice about that because it's like, well, the awning is directly in line with the door opening so it and it ought to be sort of over it um, because when you've got the door sort of half open and the and it's raining with the awning out the rain just drops off the canopy things directly into the van crazy Anyway, I've got a few discussions to have about that. Um, my legal right, I, I've taken legal advice, my legal right is that that alone would make the van not fit for purpose and that we could legally completely reject it. I don't, you know, there's, I don't want to do that. We'd love Jasmine. We do. So I just want them to fix it up um, so that it's not, so it's right. Um, that's all. 
Um, there's a few other bits and pieces like they didn't they didn't do the valeting correctly. You know, they hardly cleaned it at all before they delivered. Um, all sorts, you know, bits and pieces like the electrical issues with the TV. Um, uh, Stacy, you're asking on the on the comments down there uh, how big is Jasmine Meyer? Well, um, she's pretty she's pretty small. Um, the caravan total length was seven point two eight meters. Jasmine Meyer total length is seven point four nine meters, so not that much longer, considering. Yeah, you know, if you consider the A frame on the caravan and the engine, um it's not big. Um so but we do feel like we're living in um a sort of four or five star hotel at the moment. Uh, <laughs> compared to the caravan. It is absolutely beautiful in here i mean the 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 fit and finish on a Heimer motorhome is better than any other motorhome that i've looked at and we've looked at loads second hand and new and it is a cut above the uh, burstner van quality it really is um you know i'm really so pleased with her um it really is very nice indeed to be here and the super huge fridge is great when we when we can get to go shopping um you know we're we're heading out of here on monday morning really early and um you know we we'll be doing shopping on the way and stuff like that so uh yeah we're off to see family this week um, to show them the new arrival. Um, and, you know, well, we're just loving it. Um, we really are. And we, you know, I, I want to say um, that we're both uh, so appreciative of you guys watching and enjoying our adventure and our journey. Um, that it just encourages us to make these videos every day. Um, I uh, somebody uh, somebody said I was watching um, Steve and Stella Swan uh, RV living the Swannies down under. If you want to watch them, I recommend it. Um, they're just getting ready to go into uh, a new caravan. Um, they've got some interesting stuff going on, uh, selling up buying a van and traveling around australia um which is they're based out in adelaide uh which is quite familiar to me um stephen white asked is your motorhome new or used it is brand spanking new well i say brand spanking new it is i found out um <laughs> because they left some paperwork scuffing around they should have cleaned it up. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I've, I've seen some paperwork that tells me it is NEC show stock. So I say it's brand spanking new. It's not brand spanking new, but it is brand new. It's never been owned by anyone else. I'm the first owner, or we are the first owners. Um <sighs> So um, I'm just getting some comments coming up. I can't show you the bedroom. Um, we're going to save that for the next video. Wendy's already gone to bed. Um, you know, it's getting on a bit late. Uh, we've had a busy day. Um, sorry, I missed that last comment. Uh, do you find my home spacious as living in the caravan? Yes, I do, Simon. Uh, I do. We do find it actually more spacious. Um, than living in the caravan. Um, it uh, X display. Then did you get discount? Well, we did get discount, um, but not as much as I I would have liked, having seen that paperwork after I'd agreed a price. But there you go. Um, we'll see how we fare going back with the possibility 
um, or the leverage, uh, at least, of um, maybe sending her back. Um, Favourite feature of Jasmine would be the... Hmm, I don't know, it's a mixture of the lounge table, the cute kitchen and the huge fridge. Uh, I, all these things are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the way the table sort of moves around in the lounge is is gorgeous, so flexible, and the lounge feels actually feels twice as big. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> Alex, we keep uh, we always buy vodka by the liter. We don't bother with any smaller bottles, really. <laughs> it's cheaper to buy it that way. Um, we, you know, we'd never buy. We all. It's funny. We used to buy the. Um, we used to buy the really expensive stuff, and we do sometimes treat ourselves to a bottle of Grey Goose, um, which is really, really nice. Um, but you know, I, I don't really drink neat vodka these days. Uh, used to. But uh, Grey Goose um, from the freezer is very nice to drink on its own. Um, these days we drink the cheaper stuff mixed with um, tonic. So tonic water. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's where we are. That's a bit more about the inside of Jasmine. Um, I'm going to call it a day because I'm getting a bit tired and uh, I need to... I need to get a drink and, uh, well, drink of water, not that vodka, <laughs> and uh, get off to get off to bed. We've got a very busy day tomorrow. It's Sunday tomorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks, Danny Owen. Um, thanks for saying thanks, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I... I We've got a busy day tomorrow. It's Sunday. We've got a lot of people going out. Um, thanks, Alex. Uh, glad you liked the video. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll be back tomorrow. Um, one little update for you guys that are watching, um, and for anybody else who catches up with this afterwards, is that we are finding our. Um, our story videos that we were going to do every Sunday somewhat challenging and a little bit painful at times so we may not we may not continue with those um, so well, I'm sorry about that but you know at least you'll be keeping up with us happy travelers uh, right now and into the future at least you know a bit more about how we got started together and um you know maybe we'll do one or two more episodes to sort of talk about that um yeah the uh pippin is settled in as if she'd always lived here i think basically she is so um loyal to us uh and wants to be with us all the time uh, so, you know, she settles in and, oh, <sighs> since you've asked that, let me, let me just show you what we've done for her. Uh, there you go. <laughs> we, <laughs> she's got, we bought a couple of, uh, these sort of throws, um, from Costco and we've got her noodle blankets on the, on the other chairs that are swiveled round. And we've got this old blanket that she had on the caravan uh, seat just there. So she does, um, she goes, she gets up here and she goes along that chair and then along there, around the back of there, climbs across to the chair at the back and then jumps across to the next one and then comes across to here and then makes her way back. Um, she has a great time doing that. Anyway... Um, I'm going to say uh, good night to everybody. Uh, get locked up and go to bed. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.